Hey everybody, it's Das. Uh, I attempted this last night. We're gonna try again. The audio balance was really bad. Uh, so this is Legend of Ace. Uh, I just got into a team with my friend Adrian, so we're gonna play some matches. Uh, we normally play this every Saturday, and that's what it is as of this filming is uh, Saturday. Uh, we did play some last night as well, but that footage was just unbalanced and audio. <clears throat> I only had the volume up three, I think, three uh, notches, and it completely drowned me out. So I'm going to have a couple of things floating around. Um, so yeah, this is the character Can that I use. My favorite snowman? Not great at pronouncing her name. She's got a new skin coming out. She's basically the Ice Queen. And Adrian, my friend, he usually uses the necromancer, kind of like the undead necromancer type dude, and he's great with him. <clears throat> I originally started playing this game by myself, but I offered it to a group of my friends, and basically uh, Adrian is the guy who jumped on it and got on this game and started playing it with me. Uh, just to give a little bit of feedback, I don't know how many years I've known him, probably a few, if not several, but... um. We played Yu-Gi-Oh! online. I forgot the name of the site, but uh, we used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, that site actually got taken down because it wasn't licensed or anything, but we played that for years. And uh, that's where I met him. We became friends. Added each other on Facebook. And of course, this game connects to Facebook, so inviting them to this game was easy. Also, this, this video and this, like... All of this discussion is not sponsored. I don't even do YouTube for uh, monetization anymore. Okay, so there's a lot of Canadians on the enemy team. I don't really know what that means. Also, our loading times are going to be different. As you can see, Adrian is a little bit slower than us because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's in Spain. So, um, But this Welcome is a pretty good game for like um, playing internationally with friends from other countries. It, it still connects you relatively quickly, even, even with it being slightly slower load time. But we're, we're probably going to do a couple of matches. Some of these matches can be short wins. Some of them can, lo can be long, hard-fought battles. And some of them can just be straight losses. So we're going to see what happens. I'm going to kind of be moving the floating icons around just just this for the sake of convenience ah, I was hoping that that enemy would freeze okay they cannot fight the code first blood all right so we took her out together Hopefully we can hit the tower really quick. Generally, our strategy... <clears throat> it's really nice to have this game with a partner, but uh, our strategy is to usually kind of push through the middle. Maybe do some damage to some towers. I never expect to fully take out a tower, but we do some damage. And then depending on my health, I'll recall. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this is my favorite mobile uh, MOBA. I did play other ones that I'm not going to list off, but this is my favorite one. Like, the file size is good, the characters are good, the gameplay is nice, it's really quick to connect to players, it's just overall, it's just a good game, and I'm not saying the other ones are bad, I'm just saying that this is my preferred MOBA so far. This is also the first one I've actually had a friend with, so that's cool. I may or may not have to pause the footage. I hope not, but our phone is ringing, and I do not know why our phone is ringing at such a late hour. So we're going to see what happens with that. Hopefully, I can just talk over it, and we can just keep playing. So I'm going to regroup or retreat just a little bit. Oh, okay, so we have more um, minions. An ally has been slain. 
I'm sorry if you're hearing the background noise. I actually expected it. I expected it to be a quiet night, but you never know. Should take him out. Yes, I did. We're going to recall. <clears throat> so, so far we've taken out one turret, and they haven't taken any of ours out, but they are hitting us on the north and the south. I'm going to continue hitting the middle just because that's normally my strategy. Alright. I'll take out some more minions. I'm going to level up my area of effect skill. It's like really hot tonight. The weather throughout the day was fairly nice, but it's a little humid in here tonight in my bedroom. Okay. Well, I got the assist. Adrian was able to finish that player off. But, yeah. So, there is a spawn time. You have to wait. You can watch. You can basically spectate. So. That was a good kill. But, yeah, it kind of sucks. Because I recorded, like, basically 20 plus minutes of this last night. Had a ton of commentary, a ton, a, a ton of stuff that was on my mind, and now I'm kind of like, blah, kind of empty-minded because I laid it all out last night, so I don't really have a lot to talk about because technically I've already talked about it, but, which I just came from work, so that's, you know, I was winding down and had a lot to talk about. Come on, area of effect. I love that move. As long as it's effective on the enemy. There are some enemies I've done that move on and it literally did nothing. Looks like we're going to take this tower out. Very freaking nice. Are you kidding me? Okay, well they came in aggressive. And I just have to wait. I don't know why the brightness fluctuates in this game. Well, I just re well, I don't. I actually, I don't know if this is uh, showing for you guys, but I just got a new phone, and I noticed the brightness kind of changes with the light level of the room. So if I hold it in different angles, the brightness fluctuates. I hope that doesn't go through the video, and I also hope the audio is balanced. If anything, I would prefer the uh, the game audio to be, to be actually a little bit lower than me, just because every attempt I've made at recording, I've always been drowned out by the gameplay, so hopefully this is either balanced or I'm louder. <laughs> One of those two. <clears throat> Alright, we can take this turret out quite easily, and we're almost at the main base of the enemy. I'm just going to drop ice randomly on people. Looks like it got me a kill just basically by suppressing with ice. I'm going to hit the main turret. Or, not turret, I'm sorry, the main uh, tower. Okay, if I stay there, I might die. I'm going to drop some ice to cover us and continue hitting it. Alright, victory in under 9 minutes. So, that was good. Victory! <laughs> We're going to see who the MVP was. Normally, it's either me or Adrian. Looks like it was Adrian this time. He had a higher XP score than me, which is cool. We have a little bit of... No, I didn't get a lot of XP from that. Got a little bit of proficiency. I got a chest. That's a good thing. Let's collect... Also, you may hear a little bit of tapping... Uh, that's one thing that I could not get rid of whenever I was doing these recordings. Also, sorry if you heard that bike just go by. Apparently they felt the need to rev it directly in front of my house. There were no questions asked. It just had to happen. <clears throat> I'm just going to hit play so that he sees that he will need to ready up here shortly. I don't really have much to collect. I have one chest opening that'll be done in 53 minutes. You can get basically a max of 
four chests. Most of them have a three hour time limit. Every now and then I get a specialty chest that takes like eight hours. But I mean, I, I don't play this game like super regularly enough to where that bothers me. Like I'm fine with just hitting open and maybe getting on the next day. I don't really play this game a ton. But we we just make it a routine to get on every weekend. And so it's always a fun time. It's really quick to connect with people, so that's nice. And I used to use other characters, but honestly, I've, I've found it to be best if you just choose one character to specialize with. And I'm really, really excited that her new Ice Queen skin is coming soon. I don't know if that's the name of it. I think it was Ice Queen. But, uh, yeah, she has a new costume coming so i actually had to pay for this one i have the beach outfit it kind of it adds some attack to her but i'll have to see what the new one offers and i may pick it up as well i have a ton of games planned for youtube it's really exciting uh it's it's gonna be a really good 2020 hopefully if everything if everything goes as planned and yeah i mean it's gonna be good I'm basically going to be moving, and in my new place, I'm going to set up a cubicle just for, um, just for recording. Kind of going to soundproof the walls of the cubicle, and give that a shot, and see what happens. It's going to be nice. We'll see what happens. So, okay, we have a fairly balanced team. Of course, we're waiting on Adrian to catch up a bit. Like I say, distance does determine. Most people that play this are from Canada and the U.S. Most people. You don't... <clears throat> you very rarely see other flags. It's almost always U.S. and Canada, which is fine, but I've noticed that the other countries have slower loading times, Which doesn't matter. As long as he joins my match, I don't care. But yeah, I have several games planned. Um, I have complete playthroughs planned for this channel. Collaborations planned this for this channel. And uh, trying to talk some of my stubborn, hard-headed friends into jumping on some games. And you as the viewers, if, if anybody wants to uh, play a game that we mutually like, or if you want to try a game that I play, or vice versa, if you want me to try something that you play, uh, that's what the comments are for. No need to be shy. I don't do this for money, and I'm not obligated to be here. So, I just want to be here just for the sake of fun. So, there's literally no reason why I would not want to just, you know, get together and and do something with downtime, leisure time, just because it's what I like to do. So, it's a lot to look forward to. I'm playing several games at the moment. Oh, crap. I'm playing this uh, on the weekends. As you know, I play Gears Pop. And I'm also currently trying out the, the new Mario Kart. Uh, the Mario Kart is okay. I, I can't say that I love it or hate it yet because... I'm not at a position in the game where I could make that evaluation... I'm not far enough. It's worth recording. I'll say that. It's definitely worth me getting on there and racing the cups. That's for sure. I forgive me. Easy team kill there. When me and Adrian synchronize and we hit, uh, hit players at the same time, that's pretty dangerous. I need to retreat. <laughs> I love the recall. This is a very good game. So just to give a brief history, Smite on Xbox One got me into MOBAs. It's the first MOBA I ever played, and I thought it was absolutely amazing. Just the fact that you had minions pushing the strategic tower points and stuff like that. That is my jam. I loved that. So I have loved MOBAs ever since. 
And this is by far my favorite mobile one. It's nice. Very enjoyable. Another team kill. Me and Adrian are basically dominating the middle, which is what normally happens. We rarely ever struggle uh, unless we've got some really, really high-level opponents. And I'm sure there are bots in this game, but we don't really have a lot of issues with, like, not connecting to players. Like, I, I'd say the vast majority of my matches, personally, have been with players. I can't really say that I've struggled to... Uh, find opponents. Alright, okay, alright. When all else fails, spam the tower. Okay, okay. Oh, looks Your like Adrian got that kill. I only destroyed the tower. They cannot fight the code. I'm not really but sure what this guy's thinking, played. but he's a moron. Alright, Adrian. I'm not sure what that guy was doing. Um, dang it. Okay, I have to retreat if I'm going to live. I will throw some spikes this out to cover Adrian, me. but ultimately I cannot stick around. I'm gonna get to this tower and we're gonna recall. Adrian has a card. Oh yeah, that's one thing I talked about in the first take that didn't get here, which if you're still here after 16 minutes, that's freaking awesome anyway. But uh, this game has a card system and you can upgrade those cards and Adrian has a card where if he gets near friendly towers, he heals. So he doesn't have to recall as much as I do, but I don't possess that card, so I, I do what I can. These little cannon type ones are annoying. They have so much HP. Okay. Haha. <laughs> I wanted to kill that guy. He's like the tank of the group. Come on. Your team has yes. destroyed a turret. Double kill. No. <laughs> they cannot okay. Shut down. Well, he got me good there. Got me with like some stumbling attack and then a combo. Not bad. Yeah, this game's pretty straightforward. It's not complex to the point where it's difficult to figure out. It's straightforward and simple. When you level up, you get cards throughout the game, real time throughout the match. Uh, it's pretty nice. We have the middle. We have the middle cleared out, but they have all of their players grouped up in the middle, like some kind of strategy going on, which that leaves them weak against flanks. Yeah, I just basically wiped out three of them, so that was nice. Of course, the tank is running away. Okay, I think that's the same guy who killed me earlier. So we're going to get revenge. This will probably be the last match. I don't like these videos to be super long, but I have a ton of fun. To be honest with you, this is not the end of it. Me and him is probably going to be on this game for probably an hour after this video. We play it a lot, so. Jesus Christ. Very nice teamwork. It only took all of you. <laughs> I feel like we're going to win, but their little strategy, which I can see on the mini-map that Adrian is... Uh, 
yeah, he's flanking the bottom and the other players are flanking the top, so they're going to split out of the middle and uh, either I can go with one of the flanks or I can push the middle. I think I'm leaning towards pushing the bottom because I see we have a lot of minions uh, moving in, so I'll probably, I'll probably push the bottom. All that matters is that we get to the main base. It doesn't really matter that we keep wasting these players. Or they keep wasting us. It, that's... That's the unimportant this part of it all. I doubt they'll see this coming, so I'm going to try to get a swift strike in and potentially take out two turrets. Once they you get up the there, turret. like, level 10 plus, you take out turrets relatively quickly. Just because your rate of fire or your rate of attack increases and your damage. So yeah, we're about to melt this turret away. Or tower, or whatever you call I'm sorry. I may not use the right terminology and I'm about to freaking die. But all that matters is I took that tower out and I distracted them. So now somebody has the opportunity to rush the middle or the top or whatever they want to do. Oh, okay. They're ganging up on... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that as well. There's creatures that you can basically gang up on, and Adrian is getting ganged up on by three of them, so I don't feel too good about his survivability rating, but he's still hanging in there. I see they have chains around our towers there, so... That means they do nothing for a minute. For, like, two minutes, they do nothing. They don't fire, they don't defend themselves, they can easily be destroyed, but as you can see by the minimap, it's pretty even. We've both taken out a lot of each other's turrets, or towers, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to go, and that's a bad idea, bad life decision. I'm going to recall just because... That was a mistake. I shouldn't have rushed the middle like that. I should have known they were still going to bunch up. I think I'll hit the top with Adrian. Because he must have some common sense that I haven't acquired yet. We do need to hit him with a flank, obviously. So I'm going to put... Oh, God. Holy freaking crap. So I'm going to push this flank with him. Apparently he's surrounded by like thousands of minions. Look at his health bar. I don't know what Adrian does in this game that's different than what I do, but he gets stupid amounts of health. He gets way more health than I do. Well, obviously, that's his high-level cards. He's he's probably a bit better at this game than I am, even though I was playing it first. And, yeah. to take these minions out we're making a good well we're getting rushed like crazy in the middle i think adrian went back to help the middle and the base i'm going to continue pushing this uh this flank because i believe that we can take out these turrets as long as my minions don't take too much damage Alright, we, we've really hurt the top. I literally could not get any attacks off on him, but that, that tower is at like 30% health, so I think I'm accepting of the death. I'll take the death just to do that much damage right there. Which, if I could have been alive for three more seconds, they wouldn't even have a top turret. And the reason why it's a good idea to wear their turrets back is because the less turrets you have, the less minions you can form. So overall, essentially, the less army you'll have. And the less supporting army you'll have, just the overall lower chance you'll have of winning. Even though you can be a really strong player, if you have no army pushing with you, it's tough. Especially when we have minions pushing back, so. It looks like they finally broke through the middle. 
but I'm gonna spawn back and still hit the top just to commit to my original plan. My ping is all over the place. I've been at 110 plus and then I'll go down to 67, so my ping is all over the place. But I do like how this game shows you your your ping, so like if your internet sucks and you die from lag, you can at least blame yourself. But uh, this game does not lag. Very, li very little delay or lag or anything, so that's pretty nice. I'm just so anxious about the freaking um, audio being balanced. I hope it's balanced. This will be a cold wave. All right, so we're almost at the top turret. About to take it out. That's it. Now we can move into their main base and start doing some damage. I know we're gonna get met with a lot of players. Wow. Even though I attempted to use all of my skills, I think I only ended up casting a couple. But I did take out that turret, so the top has been completely destroyed. Now they basically have no turret defenses turret. or tower defenses. Except for that one at the bottom or the south. And even it looks like it's taken massive damage. There we go, two victories. That's a great video right there. Kind of on the long side, though. Um, if you stuck around for that long, you're freaking awesome. <laughs> but it was fun, though. I mean, yes, it's only two matches, but this is how... Okay, so... I got 14 kills. Adrian got six, and the MVP got 14 as well. I'm not really sure why he's the MVP, because I got more XP more um assists but it's cool it is what it is we'll uh we'll take them and of course it has the option to uh add his friend if you want to add anybody as friend when the match is over me and him are going to continue to play this game but i just wanted to do a couple of matches with you guys just to kind of talk and just to put some content out because i like communicating with you guys uh so thank you for sticking around for a little while and uh watching and I hope you like the game. If you check it out and get it, you know, you can definitely add me. I have my Facebook pic over there with my girlfriend. So, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all on the next one. Take care.